Hello, I'm Dan Burstein, co-editor of Secrets of the Lost Symbol, new from William Morrow. Secrets of the Lost Symbol will show you Washington, D.C. as you have never seen it before. We asked our investigative reporter, Dave Shugarts, to tell us how he was able to predict five years ago that Dan Brown's next book would be about the Freemasons and that Robert Langdon, the character, would be running around Washington, D.C. looking into ancient mysteries. We then asked him to give us what I call the magical, Masonic, mystical tour of Washington. Some of the sites important to the plot of the lost symbol that Dave covers for our book include the Capitol Rotunda with its magnificent fresco of the apotheosis of Washington filling the dome. The Library of Congress, which was Thomas Jefferson's vision of a cathedral devoted to the book. The Egyptian obelisk of the Washington Monument. The Sphinx guarded Freemason headquarters known as the House of the Temple on 16th Street. The George Washington National Masonic Memorial in Alexandria, Virginia. And the National Cathedral with its Darth Vader grotesque on its facade. Secrets of the Lost Symbol has the factual history behind the scenes of all of these buildings. Our other Washington contributors also lend a wide range of perspectives to Secrets of the Lost Symbol. Eamon Javers from the Politico roams the halls of Congress looking for contemporary members of Masonic lodges. He finds Masonic membership in Washington a far cry from the days when George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Paul Revere, and John Hancock were all brother Masons. David Plotz, editor of Slate, who grew up in Washington, D.C., provides a witty commentary about why Dan Brown has Washington all wrong in the lost symbol. And a very sobering piece is from Jeff Charlotte, who wrote the best-selling expose of The Family, the powerful evangelical group, many of whose members live communally on C Street in Washington. Charlotte compares the fear in the plot of the lost symbol about the potential exposure of Masonic membership and rituals involving high-ranking political leaders with his actual experiences trying to get attention for real-life cults at the heart of power in Washington.